Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong 2014. You all know, man, riding with my buddy, little Xander, is the only way to get my time in on the bike and be able to perform the way I want to. Leadville this year, I did it in eight hours and 36 minutes. I couldn't have done that if I can't get out there and train. A lot of you out there in the same situation, you want to ride, but the family's important, right? So I found a solution and I've teamed up with WeHoo, got one of these right here, and what I've done is some modifications to the actual buggy itself. So I put a different tire on the back end of it, put a bigger fender on that, which you guys have seen. We're doing some more videos on that. But this thing is the most amazing machine to pull, secure, awesome. They've made some changes this year. And I wanted to walk through there. So Jeffrey, we grabbed him. He's going to walk us through it and tell us all the latest and greatest. Thank you. So what we've done is we've changed first the arc of the push bar. We wanted it to clear 29 inch wheels better. And we also wanted to be able to clear luggage racks and e-bikes. So this curvature is a lot larger. We've squared off these joints. Instead of quick releases that we found customers struggle to use, we use these cotter pins, a lot easier, streamlined, smoother. We also squared off the tubing, and this enabled us to lower the seat by about two inches, making it even more stable than before. Now stability was never an issue, but it just makes it that much smoother. Our seat adjusting system before used two quick release bolts. Now we have this knob, which you can simply twist and then adjust your seat up and down the frame to accommodate different styles, different size children. One of the things that I'm particularly excited about, which we added for sex appeal rather than functionality is, we're now a monostay or a righty, so you can see um, the frame only comes on one side of the, um, uh, of the wheel. We've also added a new sunshade slash canopy, which is an add-on accessory. Um, this is the summer version. The winter version has clips that strap down on either side and then comes down the front. So if you're riding in the sun and all of a sudden a rainstorm comes your way, you can simply stop, take the accessory out the pannier, snap it on, and you're riding again. So I'm really excited about these changes. I kind of affectionately call the uh, previous WeHu the VW. It was very functional, easy to fall in love with. I'm kind of calling this one the Mercedes E350. Absolutely, yeah. No, some great changes. So this helps a lot because I ride it obviously on a fat bike and use it on my mountain bike a lot more than I use it on a road or a cross. So, you know, the wheel thing has always been an issue. We've had to actually put a collar that comes up. So if you have that problem, buy you a little uh, uh, water bottle collar, put it on your seat post, lift it all the way up, tighten it all the way down. That keeps that bar clear up at the top of your seat post versus letting it come down. And that helps with that clearance. So that's what we did to fix that issue. Anyway, it sounds like they've gone back, refixed it, and even made it better. So stay in tune. These guys are absolutely awesome. They, their customer service is unbelievable. If you're looking for something for your kids so that you can go out there and have fun with them and enjoy it, but also, they also have a little cart, and I don't see it here that they used to have right here. You could load this thing up. It's on the back of this one over there. Yeah. Go get your groceries with this thing. Haul some gear up. Kobe and I are doing a camping trip. We're using these to haul everything in, camp there with it, but all the lightweight stuff goes right with that. So anyway, all sorts of ways to utilize this trailer and have a lot of fun with it. So check them out, and I uh, hope you enjoy this segment. 2014 Interbike.